Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the starts with function in XPath. Now, the starts with function is a very, very helpful function when you want to find the dynamic web elements on any web page. So, for example, uh, if you see on my screen the second point, if you want to find a web element which has something static starting value, and there is another value uh, for that particular web element um, attribute that is dynamic. So for example, in this uh, example that I have taken here, say for example, there is an attribute ID for the web element, which is something which starts with session, and then there is a dynamic number in front of the session. Similarly, there is session and then dynamic number. So every time you refresh the page, the this id changes or the dynamic part of this id changes then in those sort of scenarios starts with function comes to a rescue wherein you can define the static part of the id in your xpath and identify the web element and you do not need to worry about the dynamic part of the id in this case so now if we talk about the format of the starts with function it is similar so xpath format is same two forward slashes which is basically the relative xpath the tag name and then the square bracket starts hyphen with and then whatever attribute so, so bracket and then attribute and the value so in this case if it, if i talk about this dynamic id which has something uh, static which is session so what i can do is i can simply say starts with at the rate id and the value right so in the value what i'll say is just session s-e-s-s-i-o-n -S -S session and r remove or leave out the dynamic part for example in this case the number from the x path and then it will be able to identify that particular element using the starts with function so now let's understand how this is done in the real scenario so let me open the salesforce developer website here right and say for example this email or first name or the last name there is any ele web element which has the dynamic component right so you just right click inspect to open the developer tool and here if you see for example there is no dynamic el uh, element in this case but say for example uh, the id of the last name started with last name and then there is some uh, number in front of this particular id right so like the way i have edited it so in this sort of scenario and every time you refresh this page or launch this page this id is starting with the last name last underscore name and then underscore there is some dynamic number so if there are scenarios like this in your web application now how will you identify this text box and send the value then uh, using the starts with function to so to start with i'll just say command f or control f to open the window for the x path and then here i'll start with double forward slash which is relative x path and then look for the tag so the tag for this element is input so i'll start with input right and then square brackets open and close and then the function starts hyphen with then the bracket and within the bracket you start with the id so here the id is the dynamic value right it can be static you can also use starts with for the static values as well say for example here in the name you want to identify with the starts with function you can just simply specify starts with user or starts with user uh, square bracket and last so it's up to you how you utilize the starts with function so i'll say id and then comma and the static value of the dynamic element so here the static value or the static part of this id is last name right so i'll just specify last uh, underscore name right 
and that's it right so now you can see that one of one element has been highlighted in yellow right so let's copy this x path and go to PyCharm, right so here i'll simply replace this with the x path that we have found so double forward slash input starts with id comma whatever the static part of that id right so let me run this test and see that it passes successfully or that x path with the starts with function gets identified successfully so it's opening the browser open the portal maximized and typed in the value in the last name and then it will close the browser so that means it has the test case has been passed and it has identified the x path with starts with function now the next thing is to understand that starts with function can also find the element whose attribute value is static what this means is say for example on the chrome browser right so name if i want to find the name with which has the static value i can also use starts with to find the elements that have the static value i can simply copy the static value of the name and find that particular element so i can it's not necessary that you are using it for the dynamic value you can also use starts with for the static values as well but it is very helpful when there is a dynamic uh, web element which changes its values in each refresh so in this case there is a static part which can be utilized with the starts with function so that's pretty much all about the starts with function and how you are going to use it to find or to write your own x path to find the val uh, to find the web elements that have the dynamic values so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching